Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you happy? When I see this place, it gives me immense joy. Do you know why? This is the Mount of Olives. What you see at the back is the Mount of Olives. And opposite the Mount of Olives is the Temple Mount where the Temple was situated. On this side, the wall of Jerusalem is present. Outside the city of Jerusalem, the Mount of Olives is situated. On the slopes of the Mount of Olives, the Garden of Gethsemane was present. We read in the scriptures that this is where Jesus Christ came frequently to pray. Imagine how these places would have been in the time of Jesus. It would have been desolated because the people lived only within the city. Outside the city, there was this garden and mountainous region. That was all. It was a solitary place. In this place, Jesus stayed for long hours in the Garden of Gethsemane and prayed all night, it is said in the scriptures. As was his custom, he came there and prayed. And today they have laid roads in this place because thousands of tourists keep coming here daily. A special thing in this garden is that the olive trees that were present during the times of Jesus are still here. That is the greatest speciality about the olive trees. Now what word does the Lord say for us today in Psalms chapter 103 verse 5 Who satisfies your mouth with good things. In the name of Lord Jesus I tell you, my son, my daughter, the Lord satisfies you with good things. A blessing that satisfies. In your life the Lord does good things. He gives you blessings. Are you completely satisfied? Aren't you thinking that there is deficiency in some area? But the Lord God promises you today a blessing that satisfies. I had gone to Kuwait for ministry. After I had finished the meetings in the night, they took me to eat in a house. When I went there, the table was filled with a variety of foods. There was idli, dosa, puri, chapati, parota, chicken curry, mutton curry and sambar. Just imagine, many varieties of food items were present there. I looked at it and said, I will only eat two idlis in the night time, otherwise I will have one chapati. Why have you prepared so many dishes? Then they said, brother, you don't have to taste everything. I will not ask you to. You should eat and be satisfied. Because if I made one thing and you didn't like it, you will not be satisfied. Whatever you like, eat that to your satisfaction. We have prepared all these dishes so that you will eat to your satisfaction in our house. Because we don't know what you like and what to prepare for you. So we have prepared everything. A person, a family out of the love for a servant of God had prepared so many dishes for me to eat and be satisfied. Then the God, the Lord who made the heavens and the earth, the Lord who gave his life for you on the cross, how much love and care would he have for you? Won't he desire to bless you to your satisfaction? That is what the Lord God says, I will bless you to your satisfaction. You see in the scriptures in Matthew chapter 14, when Jesus preached in the wilderness, many people came together. Only the men were counted to be 5,000. If we count the women and children, they are close to 20,000 people. The Lord says they are hungry, we should feed them and send them on their way. When he asked them, what do you have with you? We have five loaves of bread and two fishes. When he said, bring it to me, the Lord blessed it. He didn't say, give little to everyone, let them eat a little and then go home and eat. The Lord gave them enough to eat and be satisfied. We read in the scriptures that they ate and were filled. It is enough. I cannot eat anymore. To that extent, they were given and he enabled them to gather leftovers. In your life, you will have a blessing that satisfies. Something might be lacking. The Lord says, my son, my daughter, I will bless you so that you will be satisfied. I will bless you to the extent where you say, enough Lord, you have given me complete blessing because he is one who gives liberally. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God 
who gives to all liberally and without reproach anything that the lord gives he will give completely so that it overflows in your life do you need wisdom health or strength should debt problems and should the lives of your children be blessed do you need a blessing in your ministry the lord god is going to bless you to your satisfaction believe it place your hand on your chest say dear lord you have so much love for me praise you for your love that blesses me to my satisfaction praise you for your love that blesses me and causes me to rejoice in an overflowing and satisfactory way in the name of Jesus I pray amen amen